I'm going to show you how you can enable the account lockout for the built-in local administrator accounts for Windows servers and workstations. Previously, by default, the built-in local administrator account for servers and workstations was unable to be locked out, letting the account be subject to unlimited brute force attacks to try and determine the password. For new installations of Windows 11 22H2 or newer, or devices set up after the October 11 2022 Windows Cumulative Update, the built-in local administrator account should be able to be locked by default. However, I still recommend applying this policy to make sure that it is definitely enforced across the network. So to do this, I'm logged onto one of my domain controllers and I'm going to open up Group Policy Management. And then under Group Policy Objects, we'll create a new group policy to configure the settings. So if we right click Group Policy Objects and press New, we can give our Group Policy Object a name and I'll call this Local Administrator Lockout and then press OK. And then I can right click the Local Administrator Lockout and then press Edit. And then under Computer Configuration, we can come to Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Account Policies, and then Account Lockout Policy. And then in here, we'll want to configure these four options. So the first one we want to do is allow the administrator account to be locked out. So we'll define the policy setting, set it to Enabled, and then press Apply. Then we'll also want to set the account lockout duration, the account lockout threshold, and reset account lockout counter after. Now as a baseline, Microsoft recommends you set this as 10, 10, and 10. So the next one I want to do is set the account lockout threshold. So this is the number of times a password can be entered incorrectly before the account gets automatically locked out. So we'll define this policy setting and set this to 10 attempts. So after a password has been input 10 times incorrectly, it will automatically lock out the account. So we'll then press apply. Microsoft will, by default, try and set the other two settings to their suggested 10 minutes. That's what we want for this demo, so we'll press OK, and then OK. So what that's also done is set the account lockout duration to 10 minutes. So what this has done is after an account has been locked out, it will remain locked out for 10 minutes, then it will automatically be unlocked. And then there's also a reset account lockout after, which has also been set to 10 minutes. And what this setting does, if an account password has been entered incorrectly seven times, and then on the eighth time it gets entered correctly, it still remembers that seven incorrect passwords have been entered, and then after 10 minutes has elapsed, it will reset that counter back to zero. So now we've got all four of our options set in our group policy, we can close the group policy editor, and then we've got our setup group policy, and then all we need to do is apply this to our servers and workstations OU. So in my Active Directory, everything is within my company OU, so I can just apply this to the company organizational unit. That will automatically filter down to all of the servers and all of the workstations, so they will get this policy. And then the next time the workstations and servers do a group policy update, they should pull down the local administrator lockout group policy. So that's how you can use group policy to enable the account lockout for the built-in local administrator account for Windows servers and workstations.